Good evening, everyone. A warm welcome for another insightful and learning experience. We have a lot of wealth lined up for today's session. But before we begin, as always, let us seek the blessings of God and our motherland before we start. Request all of you to rise up and stay muted. In case you're not able to rise up, kindly keep your camera switched off. Thank you. We have a lot of accomplished leaders on our D DMT one, and one such leader is Mr. Ramchandra Patil. He will be sharing his journey of DDMT course and how it has impacted him. Before I hand over the virtual platform to Mr. Ramchandra, let me take this opportunity to introduce him to you. Mr. Ramchandra Patil is an engineering graduate who has done his B computer science and has pursued his MBA from HR in HR from Symbiosis Institute of Management Studies. His interest in law had initiated him to venture into MML, MLL and LW that is Master in Labor Laws and Labor Welfare from Symbiosis Law College. Mr. Ram is a seasoned HR professional who carries more than 16 years of holistic experience in HR and connected with various industry domain, domains like IT services, IT product, e-commerce, online infrastructure and consulting. Mr. Ram's technical background is coupled with strong understanding of HR domain, which has helped him in implementing and driving organization-wide strategic initiatives, new processes, and systems. Throughout his career, he has tried to level best, tried his level best to add value in HR function and in turn helped organizations to achieve their ultimate goals and objectives through various HR interventions. Mr. Ram is certified in globally renowned psychometric tools like MBTI, Firo B, Strong, Interest Inventory, Thomas PPA, Sevel and Belbin. He's also certified NLP Master Practitioner from American Board of Neurolinguistic Programming. Apart from this, he's certified in competency mapping and its deployment and designing and implementing assessment development centers from TV 
from TV Rao Learning Systems. He is also a certified trainer with NHRD. Mr. Ram is currently working as an HR head in ABM Knowledgeware, which is a leading IT company in e-governance domain. In his earlier stint, Mr. Ram had worked as an HR consultant and he was associated with many L&D and HR consulting organizations in India and abroad for delivering various HR training programs. Let's call upon Mr. Ram to deliver his impact statement. Over to you, Mr. Ram. Uh, thank you, Lakshmi, for this uh, lovely introduction. Uh, am I audible? Okay, good. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, thanks, Lamshi, or Lakshmi, once again for uh, my introduction. Uh, so, basically, I started uh, my journey with uh, Arun Sir and uh, Top League uh, as a WBT participant long back uh, in, in the month of, I think, April 2021. So, after that, uh, uh, I attended a couple of sessions from Arun sir, and I was really impressed with the uh, uh, with the learnings which I achieved from uh, Arun sir. Um, and I was looking for this uh, continued association with Arun sir as well as Top League. And one fine day, uh, sir announced the launch of DMT program. Anyway, I was looking for such a possibility. And that is the precise reason, I, without a further delay, I enrolled for uh, DMT program. And uh, that's how I officially uh, become a uh, member of DMT family. So I really cherish uh, my memories with this particular family. And I'm further looking for my long-term association. Now, in this particular context, one quote comes to my mind that when student is ready, uh, te the teacher appears. And that was exactly happened uh, with me. I was looking for continued association with, with the platform, and I got that opportunity. Uh, as a person, as a professional, I believe in uh, continuous learning. I mean, whatever I have attained, achieved so far in my personal and professional life, I, I give all credit to uh, this particular approach that has really helped me uh, in my personal and professional life. So we all know that uh, change is the only constant thing. You know? And furthermore, we also know that change is learning and learning is change. So thanks to DMT for making this possible for me and also helping me in my journey that is continuous learning and growing. So uh, going forward, uh, when I started attending uh, the sessions, we all know that DMT program started in the month of September. So I could attend all seven to eight sessions in this particular month. Uh, in the month of October, uh, I uh, accepted this full-time employment with ABM Knowledgeware. And then because of my hectic schedule, as well as few things in my personal life, I could not attend you know, further sessions. Nevertheless, whatever I have attended, I think uh, initial seven to six to seven sessions, that gave me tremendous learning. Uh, if you look at the various concepts that we learned, you know, we learned things like conceptualization, we looked at uh, 12 archetypes, we looked at six uh, learning hacks. So uh, the, the learning was tremendous, okay? And I, uh, even Arun sir has spent a lot of time uh, on these concepts because he wanted all of us to be very familiar, very thorough with all these concepts. So guys, do you really think that uh, if we achieve mastery in, in all these important concepts, uh, like archetypes, six thinking hats, and uh, conceptualization, uh, will it only help us in becoming a better trainer or it will help in some other way as well? I personally think that you know it will help in multiple way, you know, because when it comes to learning and its application, I personally believe that uh, it will impact your not only impact professional life, but it will also impact your personal life. It will touch all. It will touch all aspects of your life, whether it is personal or professional life. Uh, so whatever learning we have taken from uh, all these sessions so far. And especially in my case, I'm more focused on these initial six to seven sessions because you know, I could only attend these sessions. Uh, I, I personally feel that we can always take this learning and implement it in day-to-day -day work. I mean, nothing stops us from implementing these concepts in our uh, personal life as well. 
So if we apply these concepts, it will help us in making uh, more informed decisions. It will uh, help us in becoming a better person, better professional. So uh, that's, that's, that's my take uh, from my journey so far. And uh, so the, the sessions, the, if you look at the first session, I think for me, that was the most impactful session. And in fact, this session has built a strong foundation for the entire program. I still remember a couple of things from this session, you know, a few powerful quotes, like uh, uh, if you, uh, it is better to uh, sweat in, uh, more sweat in uh, training uh, so that you can, uh, you can less bleed uh, in, in the combat. So I think this was uh, you know, really great learning for me uh, from uh, initial session itself. Now at the end, I would like to thank you Arun sir once again for, uh, Bring this masterstroke called DMT. Uh, I would like to thank the entire topic team, uh, Vaidhi, and special thanks to Lakshmi, Bala, um, Atul, and Suma, and all other leads you know, who are helping us in making this intervention uh, you know, really focus uh, intervention for all of us. And they are working hard, they are working selflessly so that we can uh, leverage on this particular platform, we can leverage on our learning. So thanks to uh, all leads once again. I would like to end my uh, small talk with a, a quote. And uh, this quote says that uh, uh, the actions do not clinch to me because I'm, I'm not bothered about the results. Okay, those who understand it and practice it, they live in freedom. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ramchandra. I think all of us have uh, gained a lot and we will be using it way beyond our training sessions. That Thank you so much for bringing light and your insights out and also leaving us with a lot of food for thought. Moving on, before the program started, I asked Mr. Suraj whether the wealth pyramid is something where he's also going to give us some wealth. But that's when he laughed. A wise man once said, of our wealth is not how much we have, but how much we would be worth if we lost all our money. With that thought, let me introduce and welcome the speaker for the day, Mr. Suraj, who would help us to gain insights on how to build our own wealth pyramids. But before that, time for his introduction. Mr. Suraj has done his Bachelor, Bachelor of Engineering, BE in Production Technology, and while pursuing his engineering, he had started his journey in the financial field as a part-time insurance advisor. After his engineering, he pursued his Master's in Marketing Management. Mr. Suraj entered the financial field by completing his distance learning program from CII UK. In year 2010, Mr. Suraj had completed the four modules of Certified Financial Planner, FPSB from India. Also, he had the QEFP, Qualified Personal First, uh, Financial Professional from Network FP. He is one of the few who have completed RVCC, that is the Rebalance Volatility Certificate course from National Stock Exchange. Mr. Suraj's experience spans over 24 years as an insurance advisor and for the past 17 years he is also a mutual fund distributor more than 500 families repose trust in him as to how to manage their financial portfolios he's also helped to create a wealth of more than 100 crores for them for the past five years he's regularly conducting seminars and webinars for various organizations, helping more than 2,000 employees to build their wealth pyramid. We are all so lucky that he's a part of our program. And friends, tighten your seat belts for the journey to the wealth pyramid. Over to you, Mr. Suraj. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Lakshmi ma'am, for such a nice introduction. It really uh, made me so uh, proud of myself after hearing such a nice in, uh, introduction from you. Thank you so much. And here I welcome all of you on this awesome evening and for a great journey of next one hour, hour to how to build your wealth pyramid. So my dear friends, and we all, all want wealth in life. As 
uh, Lakshmi ma'am has uh, already told, the first question comes in my, her mind was ki whether you are going to give wealth. So whenever it comes wealth, we always want more and uh, we want a stable financial success in our life. And what other than pyramid can uh, show us the way towards stability? Pyramids are the structures which have built thousand years ago, but still they are standing still held withstanding all the calamities, all the natural things which are happening in last thousands of years. Similarly, if we all of us can build our wealth pyramid, we can achieve a stability in our financial success, which will help us to fulfill all our goals in our life. So let's start this journey with some fun or a, a game. Everybody likes to play game, isn't it? Right? Let's take it an interactive session. I, I would like to make uh, a, a boring subject. It's, it's a very important subject in everybody's life. But when it comes to building wealth, people feel it boring. So let's make add some fun element. So let's have one game. So let's solve this puzzle. Everybody see, seeing a puzzle in front of them, there are nine dots, right? So you have to connect these nine dots with four continuous straight lines in one minute. And your time starts now. So four continuous lines. Do it at your place with a paper and pen. I have started, just give a thought. Done. Great. Those who have done, just keep with them. Others are trying. Those who have done, just put in the chat box that you have done. So we'll come to know. So 35 seconds over, 25 more to go. Only one, one I can see in the chat box, done. Others are trying, good, good, you should try. Great, I got second. Good, three, fantastic. So I'm just extending for five, 10 more seconds and the countdown that started. Come on, fast. Three, two, one. Okay, those have done it. A great clap for them. Congratulations. And you can check if it's right or wrong because you have to follow certain constraints in that. That are four continuous straight lines. Okay, so let's see and check if you have done. And if you have done the similar way, just put in the chat box. So, how it can be done. Just first line, second line, you have to extend slightly outside the box. Third line, again, you have to extend slightly outside the box and it connects all nine dots, isn't it? Those who have done in this way, just pat your backs. <laughs> Great. So my dear friends, why this puzzle to start a topic like but, build, building a stable yeah. financial success? Sir, here, uh, here you are, um, it is crossing, yeah. this that line is crossing here. Yes, it's, it's crossing, but uh, and I told straight lines, they are four continuous straight lines. Okay. I didn't told in constant that it should not cross or it should not go outside the uh, boundaries. Okay. I just told four straight lines, continuous. Okay. You don't have to take out your hand. Okay. Thank you. For those uh, who have not uh, seen again, just I will take it back and show you again. So first line, then it continues. Second line continues, third line continues and fourth line and connects all the nine dots together. My dear friends, how it symbolizes in building our financial success. 
in our life, we have different goals. So these nine dots denotes our life goals because uh, different goals are like buying a car, child's education, retirement, and smaller goal like buying a mobile. Many has aspiration of buying an Apple mobile. So for, that is also one of the financial goal. So we have different goals. These constraints of four continuous lines and that too within one minute shows us that we have limitations of income and time. So we have to achieve all our life goals in that limited income which is coming in our, our family and in that limited time span. Because if the child is of one year age, so we cannot, uh, we, we have to complete his education, need the money for his uh, higher education at the age of 18 to 19. We cannot extend it to 25 years. So we have a limited time. And the four lines are that important building blocks that are, today we are going to learn, which can connect all your life goals, which can help you to see that all your life goals are achieved in this constraints and with a time frame. Are you all ready? Are you all ready? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes sir. Yes, sir. Fantastic. So my dear friends, the first thing starts with your habit, saving habit. So you have to first think, what's your saving habit? Because we have heard that habits makes our life or makes uh, is a basic thing for success. Similarly, saving habit is a basic thing for financial success. Let's see what are different saving habits. There are only two kinds of saving habits. One is a spender's habit. Spender, when the income comes, the spender first does the expenses and whatever is left, it goes to saving. Then what is the second habit? The saver's habit. The saver when the income comes first, take out the main part towards saving and then does the expenses. So now you don't have to put in the chat box or tell anyone, but just think of your habit. In which category you fall? Are you a spender or a saver? Those who are in the second one saving and uh, again, uh, put your pa pads on your back because you are already one step ahead. But those who are in the spender, they have to push hard to come in the next level. And in today's time, as we see that our goals are increasing, the amount which we need to complete our goal is increasing. So we cannot fall in only the saver's habit. We have to move ahead and go in the next phase. What can you call this person? Any guesses? That when you put your savings to growth, savings put to growth, that is investments, will give you the third habit, and that is the investor's habit. Everyone has to move from their initial things to the new one to achieve whatever you want in life because growth is the booster to your savings things to investments and that will help you a lot the question comes why you need to have growth in your saving and there we don't know that we have an enemy to our savings that enemy is nothing but the inflation. Inflation is a slow poison which spoils our saving. Last 30 years shows that the average inflation is 7%. So those who are keeping their money around 6 to 7% in the savings bank or the uh, uh, savings category, all the money, 
they are not growing it because inflation is eating that money so we need a booster to it and that's the investments the growth category we'll see ahead ki how we can add this booster in our uh, savings so that we would beat the inflation and get the actual real returns on our investment which will help us to fulfill all our goals in future but then what's there the pyramid thing the base of all your uh, wealth lies in this one thing that is to make sure what habit you are in and that is your cash flow the first building block to have a wealth pyramid is to know your cash flow what income is coming in what are the expenses going out what is going to the savings you have to bifurcate these three parameters first if you don't do it then it will go haphazardly nobody has any nahi phone karna hota mi actually me google road ma chalo tumcha pakka sudha the direct down hoga so friends and the cash flow will help you to understand what's are your total income so take on one side all your incomes so income may be salary income business income part time business income rental income then dividend and income so just take it on one side then add on your expenses together on the other part so expenses can be pay towards your family expenses personal expenses your annual expenses uh, your uh, exp- socializing expenses every expense should be added and then see what is the surplus and see whether this surplus is utilized rightly and this cash flow analysis will help you to do it so once you do your cash flow then what next let's see yourself are you doing it on paper don't keep it in just your mind you have to put it on your paper what warren buffett says as uh, on your savings happen do not save what is left after spending but spend what is left after saving and these words are by a uh, the most uh, admired investor in the world that is warren buffett so once you decide ki how much you are going to save what you 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 will know okay 30% i am going to save from my income but then the next question comes where this 30% will go isn't it will this question be there in in everybody's mind right that question is there where this 30% now i want to save 30% of my income but where it will go so before where uh, it will go before thinking that investments one thing we need to take care my dear friends that one thing i want to relate it with our other example in life and that one thing relates to it very perfectly when you think that you want to go to goa from wherever you are staying today eh, with your car when you sit in your car what do you do the first you can unmute and tell the answers check when for you fill, the, fill the petrol for, fuel fuel fuel, fuel. Petrol. okay what other thing you do first after sitting on your seat what do you do which is apply seat belt apply seat compulsory. belt compulsory yes apply the seat belt perfectly right why we put the seat belt because there are a lot of uncertainties in the journey and we try to safeguard ourselves similarly there are a lot of uncertain events in our life which affects our income and wealth and they can take away a large chunk of your wealth health uh, what you have saved from years or they can stop your incoming income and affect in the future 
isn't it? So the next building block arc is to protect what income you are earning today and what wealth you have already gathered. So first thing, as we do, why after sitting the car, putting the seat belt in our financial journey, we should first part should put it to protect what is there with us already, right? So here is a breakout room. Um, we will open the breakout room for next 10 minutes. So what's what you have to do in a breakout room? You have to find out the events and situations which can have a negative effect on your income or wealth. So which are that unplanned, unseen events which can happen in anyone's life or had happened earlier or in your relatives or in your uh, circle, which has affected their income and wealth. So uh, Lakshmi ma'am, can you help me to open the breakout room? And this will be for 10 minutes. Any, anyone has any questions? All right. it, is it clear what you have to do in the breakout room? And we have three rooms. It's, it's clear, sir. Uh, we have Good. almost Thank 30 you. participants. So you want yeah. 10 in each room? Uh, I think uh, that would be uh, good enough because then uh, uh, we can have okay. or we can have four rooms. Yeah. All right. Rooms. I'll do that. Yeah. We can have four rooms. So those who are new to the platform, we are opening the breakout room. You have to go in the room and discuss about the situations. Rooms have been open for 10 minutes. Yes, thank you. Please join your rooms. interesting very interesting topic and very interesting you you don't have audio no audio no audio you are muted suraj you are muted suraj the room number Suraji, no uh, Suraji, we can't hear you. We can't hear you, sir. Suraji, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. You are muted. Okay, give him a minute till he sorts out the audio. Yeah, yeah. have patience, have patience. Vijay, sir, which, what is our room number? We are three. Bala, we are three. One. Vijay, sir, so room number is one. You can, uh, no, no, no. You are muted, sir. Maybe your earphone, some correction. No, he is not muted. He has some technical no. English. Okay, okay. He's okay. Yeah, 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 now, now oh, it's yeah. okay. Now, okay. okay. now you're okay. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Very good. Thank you so much. Interesting topic, <laughs> interesting question. Good. Thank you. Interesting so discussion. Yeah, that's what I was going through. I think you are, you are kindled the thoughts of the people. <laughs> oh, thank you. So let's see what thoughts uh, uh, we uh, have seen. So each room will get uh, 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 two minutes maximum. So uh, let's go with room number three first. Three, room number three. Balaji? Room number three had uh, Mr. Anil Bala. Yeah. 
Bala, can yeah. you share this again? Yeah, 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 I am doing it, sir. I am just... Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. In two minutes, I am taking 20 seconds now. Sorry. No problem, no problem. Able to see my screen now? <laughs> no yes, problem. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Yes, NLG. Yes, please. Yeah. Should I go ahead? Yeah, please. Yes, please. Okay. So, these are the points our group has jogged down. You know, first thing is various health issues, either accident or or some uh, problem in health. So, you know, in our seniors, in our juniors, so, and a lot of money it is eroded. Our savings are eroded. And then suddenly there is, a, there, there is a loss in the house due to fire or some other problem, okay? And, and then we have uh, job loss also. Then we have job loss also at certain times, like COVID, many people lost their job. That is also, you know, erodes our income and our assets also. Then loss in purchase of stock exchange at wrong time and real exchange when we buy with the intention to, with, with the intention to uh, have good money, but ultimately we are loser. Then cluttering, cluttering means I am buying unnecessary things which I don't need it need versus greed. So I am having already 10 shirts and I am going on adding and going on sarees and clothes. This is all, you know, cluttering my house. So unnecessary spending on recreation and unnecessary going every, it, once in a while it is fine, but just overdoing something. Then lack of awareness. I am doing certain things which I am not a master exp expert of that thing. No, I am indulging in stock as I told earlier. I have to get some consultant for that, but I am just doing it. I am a rigid man, so I am not following the principle. So then procrastination. Sometimes, you know, there are the time, the rates of the market, stock and real estate, they are very low, but I go on thinking, overthinking and miss the opportunity to buy it. Then I am under society pressure, low kya kahenge, and I do certain things, you know, just for the social circle, I am indulging myself and that also I lose the money and my wealth and my saving. Thank you very much, my group, for these points. Thank you. Yeah, fantastic points. You have came up uh, with the most certain things. You have covered many uh, uh, uncertain and certain, both things. Great. Can we move to room number one? So I'm making it uncertain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Then in, in room number two, the all, all already one, people, one. People, people will already explain it, not read. Right. Room That's number true. one had uh, Nitika, uh, Nagisar, yes, Mahesh, Pooja. Yeah, room number one. Uh, all that gone into room number three is uh, there. We will make it very brief. There are two things what we got to look into it as an individual or the soul. Certain things are from within, certain things are without. Some of things are, are in our control, certain things are not in our control. So make a sort of that. Mostly when I see the negative, it is actually the threats and the weakness. Threats are from outside and weakness from within. I'll just say this one issue here is element of risk. The asset is your income or your wealth. Whenever there's an asset and when you have an hazard, it can't do anything to an asset unless you're vulnerable. So this is where what we look at the congruence part, the asset, vulnerableness, and the hazard. So this can impact terribly on the income as well as wealth. Certain things happened in the recent past, the pandemic, it can be force major, all the force major clauses, let it be plant strike, it's uh, acts of the God and the men, the government policies, um, Ukraine, US, whatnot, everything is impacting us all around. So how well you are planned to addressing the risk element? After all, Adam Smith wasn't wrong at all when he said planning is a panacea for growth, even in uncertain times. Thank you. Over to you, Suraj. Right. Uh, good, good. Uh, other perspective towards uh, analyzing the uncertainties. Great, Nagi sir. Thank you so much. Your group has really uh, done a great work in the discussion. Uh, can we move to four? Room number four. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Suraj, I'll be presenting the screen and uh, Narendra sir will stay.
uh, all the uh, items are same as uh, room number three, I think. Yep. Uh, we have listed anyway, I'll read out. Hospitalization, uh, sudden hospitalization will affect on the uh, income and uh, cash. Accidents, including fire accident and other accidents. Loss of job or business. Loss in business will affect the finance flow. Loss of job, which is uh, most probable in the end of our days. So loss of life in the family, extra expenses incurred, that also will cause. Extravagant expenditure during ceremonies, emotional. You become emotional and spend more uh, than the required amount, you know, our planned amount, that will cause uh, cash disruption. Investment at incorrect financial institutions for greed of earning fast, earning more. You go and invest in a very dangerous uh, uh, institutions and lose money. Then splurging on the material estate. Just go on buying, buying, buying. That also will cause uh, the flow of finance. This is what we have come in uh, discussed in our group. Thank you. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Narendra sir. And nice discussion. So let's move to last but not the least, room number two. Room number two, the uh, is, uh, one, two, one, three, four are already discussed everything. Not, we, not left us for us. But we have discussed and I may just tell you. Uh, uh, serious illness, due to serious illness or accident, by accident, the negative uh, loss of job or downsize of this, uh, the business or, uh, or business going bust or by losses, there's due to pending, every, every business has gone to loss and most of the people has lose the job this any robbery, fire, loss, litigation. Litigation in property comes, then it, it goes on full life. Then it, inflation, do you have already told wrong selection of investment or why greed we may invest some uh, just little 1% expenditure, 1% rate, higher rate than the, the fraud is to gain, take over our own even cap, capital. And, the unseen circumstances like COVID, war, terrorist attack, or a flood, earthquake, all any natural calamities also, or permanent disability also can be, uh, or borrowing more, borrowing more than capacity. Sometimes, sometimes we have to uh, get somebody is having BMW, we should be purchased BMW, whether our capacity or not. The that that competition that was uh, a neighbor in we honor pride. So something we have to do these things. Okay. So that we we will we have to uh, then naturally the negativity will be there and we have to lose our own investment and uh, exactly uh, have face to the problems. Very good. So very good. Thank, thank you very much. Exactly. Very thank good. Thank you. For, uh, thank you very much uh, for our, my group and all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mathur sir. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so thank much, you. Uh, everyone, for uh, such uh, great things coming up. Uh, many new things uh, from Mathur sir's last statement. Uh, I, uh, I remember one uh, line from uh, Will Smith had, uh, has stated it. Too many people spend money they haven't earned to buy things they didn't want to just impress as the people they don't like. So many people spend the money to buy things which they don't want, but just to impress those people they don't like. And that's why people go in that debt of credit card and spending more than what they earn. And so great, uh, uh, good insights from all the rooms. Um, so let's see what we can protect. Okay, so there are many points similar in all the rooms, right? So let's take that point ahead because why similarity? So everybody is facing that challenges. That's why that similarity is coming. So just give concentrate on that point and let's see what we can do to protect these things. So as rightly said, we can group these into some 
parts like one is affecting your wealth and income and one is affecting your assets so what the first thing which comes which is we can see regularly around us is rightly said by many uh, all the groups that is hospitalization or disease and we have seen in the last two years the cost of hospitalization for corona itself was from 10 to 15 thousand to I have heard the maximum figure of 27 lakhs. So what a devastating effect on what wealth anybody has gathered for years have just vanished in no time. So what we can do to cover this? So we have a health insurance where we can put a small amount aside protect our financial wealth through hospitalization and diseases. So the next question comes, how much we should have? That's the main thing which we'll address in some time. The next uncertainty which everyone has told is disability due to accidents. It's said that per second in India, every second, there are five accidents happening somewhere in India and that is causing disability and then job loss or income loss or even death. So that can be covered through a personal accident insurance. Then as many has told that passing away of someone's life, a earning member's life, that can bring a big financial uncertainty in someone's life because income will completely stop and that can be covered through a term life insurance. Remember this word term life insurance. It's not life insurance, term life insurance. And then we have, we everybody told about this too, that there can be a damage to our house or office through earthquake or fire or our most uh, where we have put our wealth that is house and normally we put in car that can get damaged. So both needs to be covered. This can happen anytime and that can be covered through a motor home or motor insurance. So my dear friends, these are the things which are not in our hand. But if these things strikes, they can take away a large chunk of wealth. I am sure everybody was right with other things also, like financial losses as due to uh, bad decisions or job loss due to economic problems. But these are will be taken into the investment back category. Now we are discussing those because of any unplanned thing strikes in your life and its life income completely stops or get destructed. And all this can be covered through insurance. So if you put an insurance umbrella over uh, in your life, the first expense, what you should do is for the insurance premium, which will help you from major financial losses in future. So the second building block is to protect your income and wealth through proper insurances. Normally, when I talk about insurance, everybody will say, yes, I have an insurance. Many of you, I am sure, will be having almost all or at least one or two from these categories. Normally, because of pandemic, now many have taken a health insurance and the job, those who are doing a job or earning in regularly, they have taken a life insurance. But just check if you have a personal accident insurance and also home insurance, because home is a place where you have put your maximum wealth in. So my dear friends, cover your insurance up to required amount. Normally I have seen people that they have very less insurances just in case a health insurance, normally the average amount of health insurance, uh, according to the data, is two and a half lakhs. But what happens in two and a half lakhs? If the major illness strikes, 
we have seen in corona period what's the expense and cost of that so when you take a ins health insurance see that you at least get minimum 10 lakhs or more and now you have a top up plans plans available which take very small amount to boost your present insurance to a larger amount personal accident policies are very much neglected but i have seen that people getting the right amount when a disability uh, arrives has in their life and from there uh, they can sustain their next 2 to 3 years income so disability should be covered for at least minimum 2 years annual income amount term life insurance is a pure life insurance hence which will cover give a co life coverage to the maximum how much we should have we will see that many people have lic policies or investment plans in insurance companies which are 2 lakhs 10 lakhs 15 lakhs coverage the average coverage in india of any life all the life insurance uh, presently is around 5 lakhs only but if you see the income of the people who are taking that coverage is much larger than that so the in the coverage in life insurance should be at least 10 times of your annual income and home and motor insurance should be up to the value of your house or your uh, car so my dear friends i am sure after this everybody will see that their insurance covers are up to the mark और ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि नीचे से व्हेन व्हेन वी पुट सम ग्रेन्स इन वन यूटेंसिल एंड इफ हैड इफ इट हैज होल्स डाउन साइड वेदर दैट यूटेंसिल विल फिल नेवर सो डोंट टेक इंश्योरेंस टू स्मॉल अमाउंट्स व्हिच विल नॉट गिव यू गिव गिव यू सपोर्ट व्हेन यू एक्चुअली नीड इट टेक इट टू द फुलेस्ट व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड so once you have done the insurances and protected the uncertainties the major uncertainties in life the next part where you move is to fulfill your goals everybody has goals in life right different goals at different life stages so if somebody is yet to marry they will have the first goal to get married or get a house get a nice car those who have already married and and have small children they will always have the goals to give a better education for their children to upgrade their house to upgrade their car those who are already into with the later stage of life if where the children are already earning they will have the goals to have a beautiful retirement life where they can relax and do whatever they want to do who in life and income keeps on coming every month in their bank account isn't it everybody has life goals goals to achieve so the next stepping stone is going to help you to actually achieve your life goals so for achieving the life goals you have to accumulate through investments and savings so the first part of savings goes to insurance now what is left should go to your investments as i told you earlier if you want to grow your money your money should be divided into savings and investments only savings will not help but you have to be a investor so the next building block the third one is to accumulate wealth for achieving your life goals are you all with me so let's yes see sir in the next breakout room yes what are that investment options which will help us to accumulate is the question clear what are those investment options which will help us to accumulate our wealth so which will help us to invest or save i hope the question is clear to all uh, lakshmi ma'am can we open the room uh, can we do this time can we take 5 minutes so that we can cover 
all the four building blocks which will help you sure so we'll have five minutes there are 32 participants or we can have uh, 10 minutes but we can have three rooms lakshmi we can all have right. three rooms okay i'll do that 10 minutes So I am sure many interesting uh, things are going to come from this breakout room. Because rooms everybody is concerned. Yes. Please join your rooms. Others, please join your room. So I hope everyone is back. So how, how was the experience? Let's listen. Very. Oh, my, my experience is very good, quite good. Mm -hmm. I never mm -hmm. thought of insurance. Okay, oh, great. The most vulnerable, vulnerable, neglected. I did not realize it. Yeah, great, great. So I am sure everybody has got some good very experience. Very interesting. So this. Let's hear from quite. room number one first now. Yes. Quite interesting too. It, our room number, <laughs> our was room number one. And we have... We have brainstormed the following. Yes, Bala sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a minute. So I will share my screen. Yes. And I will tell first the three lines, then you continue, Mathu sir. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because because I have added after your discussion. Sorry. Okay. 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 So you. you I... Yeah. The first one, sir. What we did, uh, we have uh, we have uh, jotted down various avenues, and we have grouped into short term investment long term investment or lesser risk investment more risk investment more returns investment lesser returns investment like that we have we have grouped it now so now over to mathur sir yeah yes. various avenues yeah various avenues we have discussed our in stocks shares and mutual funds these are even the people have to trade trading and whenever that according to their need you know, when the time comes and you also have five years, 10 years, they can sell when the rates are higher, they can sell and they can purchase when rates are lower. These are shares and not fixed deposit or their and PPF and national pension schemes, PF. These are the fixed and the, if you want to after retirement, you want to live with this chan kin in the then do do it this no risk. And the bonds, yeah. And rental income, we have prepared, we have construct house and then give it to rent. So in rental income can also come. Real estate investment, investing in a startup, entrepreneur trading, and in, in, invest in gold, some gold. So that is, will be a, a for better in farming land, agriculture. You can get education is help. But we can, this is, we are on to promotion. So we can go for higher studies and then we get the promotion and raise our income also. That is also in cryptocurrency, all, all insurance, all type. For and These are the various things which our group has concluded. 
तो थैंक यू थैंक यू मातो सर थैंक यू गुरु थैंक यू बालाजी थैंक यू बालाजी एंड थैंक यू थैंक यू मातो सर आई जस्ट वन क्वेश्चन मोर uh yes, while sir. considering investment options you have taken a good three uh three things in uh, uh place uh, the earlier three things risk returns and the horizon and yes. on these three things you started your discussion or they were taken afterwards after no, the discussion we, 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 uh, uh, we have they listed and then we have grouped it down great thank you great. let's move to the next room very good that uh, is, discussion that, uh, yeah, that is bala sir excellent, excellent. <laughs> Balaji yes. has they have done this. Thing. Thank you so much. Let's move to the room number two. Let's see. Putli me kya hai room number two kya? Naya kya hai? <laughs> we are room number two. Anil, Anil sir. Yes. Raja Lakshmi. Yeah, I will share. Lakshmi, please carry on. Our two. See, so all the points were already uh, been covered by uh, Bala and group. Uh, but we have basically divided uh, the investment into two parts one is uh, lakshmi part the other one is saraswati part the one is on the lakshmi side we have uh, 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 real estate and the stocks and mutual funds government bonds and the gold has been uh, brought under the first category and then to have some liquid uh, uh, deposits so to, so that to meet out uh, the regular expenses so one can park some money into the liquid deposits are like a pension scheme or ppf kind of thing and then investment in uh, education for uh, their children as well as for the self to upskill their knowledge so that uh, become an, a permanent investment uh, which uh, be, which will be useful for the people and also investment in uh, others business like a, a investment in other franchises or investment in their own business or some startup companies or invest in ideas new ideas of the other people so that that will in turn fetch a return by way of a royalty kind of so these are the points we have discussed from now thank you for the wow call. great and so one more question for you also as much well, ma'am what was your point of discussion and started with was secured and uh, risk nahi uh, sorry yeah, secured, always uh, investment finance investment and education education yes upskilling yeah. yourself yeah. okay yeah. No, no, no. lakshmi and saraswati थ्री Uh, room number three actually we have the different type of people thinking, and uh, uh, my personal take is that actually protecting the house insurance top up. वो मेरे कभी दिमाग में नहीं आया था, and uh, and also that uh, uh, that uh, somebody suggested that cryptocurrency. I totally have request to people to go out to don't go to crypto unless you have lot of money, black money or father in law's money, etc. okay and as um, amanat ji your experience you are sharing good and anything else you came yeah, to yeah, discuss yeah. other points also yeah. similar yes, yes 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 and now i always used to invest money in the education now education become more cheaper and rather free almost any best thing now you can get free except the degree degree if you don't want degree knowledge you can get fantastic okay. Education and then is uh, yeah, that's it. And stock market, if you are Stocks, not yes. don't have time too much time, and but if you are an education minded person, don't go stock. Stock will take hell of a time, concentration, need to harap karne ka. Rather you go to the mutual fund. Yes. If you are earning money, you are you are earning money through the knowledge, knowledge acquisition, you will go for mutual fund. Okay, that is the best. Good. 
Good. Very good. Any other points? Any group member wants to add? From the group number three? So let's move ahead. So we discussed here also many points are matching with all the groups, right? Shares, FDs, fixed deposits, real estate, uh, then cryptos, somebody said, mutual funds, somebody said SIP, PPF, postal investments. So many points are matching. But here, everybody knows where to invest. But I want to make your focus from these products to one very important thing in life, which will help you to get the right amount at the right time, always. Do you want to know? Yes. Yes, yes. everybody oh, wants yes. to know that. Oh, why not? Why not? Because, <laughs> yes. So, friends, see, when it comes to investments or accumulate wealth, what takes away our focus is the products. We just focus on the products. So maybe it comes in the paper, newspaper news, uh, on the news or our friend tells or somebody agent comes, he tells about the product and we just go with the product. But today you are going to take away one important thing in, from this program. So where to focus when it comes to accumulate so that you will get the right amount at the right time. Before that, let's see, like uh, already room number one has divided at the uh, investments into different types, three types. But let's see how the investment, all these investment avenues can come in different types. And then we'll see what next we have to do from that. So as rightly said by uh, the first group, we have to divide it from low risk to high risk. The first thing we need to see, ki what is the risk on the capital? Whether the capital is also eroding because of returns or capital is intact and we are getting returns. So the first thing comes where there is the least risk is called as conservative investments. So what these conservative investments are? These are the investment in your savings, FD fixed deposit in, uh, in the nationalized banks where your money is completely safe. You know that nothing will happen if SBI bank tomorrow is closed till government will give us the money. So conservative investments are the investments where returns are low, risk is low, but uh, it, it will give you peace of mind. Suraji, are then, you uh, are you sharing your screen? You were unable uh, to see yes. your screen. Screen is not screen. Oh, yes, sorry. Yes. Please, please share it, sir. Thank you, thank you, Bala sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Minding. So the investment should always the grouping is done as I told you, low to high risk. The first conservative we have already discussed, then moderately conservative. So here you take slightly higher risk that is bonds, company bonds, where you get 1%, 1.5% extra interest than the uh, uh, normal nationalized SBI or uh, uh, SBI bank or all the nationalized bank. Then we move to the next part that is moderately aggressive. So these are like bullions, like gold, investing into gold, that is commodities or currencies. So they have slightly higher risk than these bonds and because we have seen that gold last one year, it has not moved up, right? And so those who have invested, in fact, it's negative, but it will not go beyond certain point, it will not go towards negative. And so moderately high uh, aggressive investments are into commodities or currencies then we have aggressive investments. These are into shares, real estate. So there the growth is more than the first three counterparts, but the erosion of your capital can also be much higher in these investment options. Then we have very aggressive investments. So uh, can others mute please? Thank you. So we have very aggressive investments, like many groups were discussing about this cryptocurrencies, investing into startups. You don't have any 
certainty about their growth. You just invest it because today their valuations, you see some you know, spark in future and you invest into that. And so very aggressive can take away, wipe away your all money also. So if you invest uh, X amount, all X amount can be wiped out. So you have to categorize the investments into different asset class. Now, somebody will say that fixed deposit is a conservative thing. No, fixed deposit also can be categorized in these five asset classes, uh, in these five classes. That is, if it's in the nationalized bank, it's a conservative thing. But it's if it's in the uh, Pata Samstha, which is a local Pata Samstha without having any branch, then it's a very aggressive investment. So first thing you have to see, whenever any pro somebody comes with, with any product, you should put it in this category. Okay? Because here, why we go for a higher aggressive investments normally, because the returns in higher aggressive investments are high. And many people just follow with the returns and not where this is categorized. So this will be your benchmark for future investments. Don't just see the returns as in that, but also see the risk in that and then take the further uh, decision. Because now uh, we have all witnessed that everybody in their mind are thinking uh, from last one year, I uh, share may invest karma chahiye. And everybody wants to invest in shares. And that's why we have, have almost three crore DMAT accounts opened in last one year, uh, one and a half years. So that's how returns drive our investments or the products drive our investments. And before that, if you put your investments into these classes, then the next thing comes. That is the golden thing. What you have to see next? And that is your goals. Your goals will be in the, as we have seen here, your goals are the important thing. Why we invest? Because we invest for our life goals. We accumulate for our life goals. But when it comes to the products, our life goals are taken aside and we are just focusing on the product and we are not considering the life goal. So any investment done in consideration with the life goal will always help you to achieve if these goals. So my dear friends, you have to put all your investments towards your goals. So when you consider a goal, what things you need to see uh, towards that goal that we'll see. The first thing is calculate the future value of your goal. For example, if somebody, uh, as many have told that children education is one of the goal. So if your child is 10 years old, and if you want it at the after eight years from now, that is at age 18, then you have to calculate uh, considering the inflation, ki, what would be the requirement after eight years? Because that is the goal. Without goal, if you start the investment, it will take uh, uh, you nowhere. And you will land up at a different place. For It's the same example. Like when you start hard to drive towards Goa, first what we see, ki how far is our goal? And, and when we reach to that goal. So similarly, if, how far is the next point? Ki, what is the timeline of our goal? First is calculate how much value is required, then identi identify the time required. That is eight years if you need the money after eight years, then do a proper asset allocation considering the last five uh, things what we have seen. So whether that is a conservative investment or a growth oriented investment, you have to take both into a right uh, right proportion because only right asset allocation can take you to the goals only into conservative or only into very aggressive or aggressive will not make you to reach your goal because very aggressive can take away your capital from your investments if there is some market crash or uh, any economical uh, things happening and very conservative investment 
will not beat the inflation so your money is actually not growing it's depreciating so have a right asset allocation based on a uh, right asset allocation based on how much money you need and what time after what time you need the money while taking the asset allocation and you have to consider mostly two things what is uh, the time you need and second part you have to consider is what are, is your risk tolerance how much risk you can take in your investment that's one of the basic thing and there are now tools to assess your risk tolerance based on your experience i think there is some network disconnect uh, with mr suraj's uh... allocation start early yeah. Uh, yes. Suraj ji, can I request yeah. you to repeat the last few sentences? There was a little uh, internet disconnect. Okay. Eh, so, uh, is it uh, now? I am audible. From from risk tolerance, yes. Yes. So, asset in asset allocation, you have to take two more uh, two most important things into consideration. One is time. What is time required? So, as the time is more, you can go towards aggressive investment. If the time for goal. is 20 years then you can actually select aggressive investments considering the features of like uh, today doing a sip in mutual fund and can help for a longer period in a equity mutual fund and it's not only mutual fund equity mutual fund can help to achieve if the goals with a less risk because you are now adding time so time is a very important thing and your risk tolerance okay, how much risk you can take and there are tools available i told which are helpful to see what is your risk tolerance so which help you to analyze your risk appetite so that you can add that growth element in your investments next thing what you can do is start early start as early as you can and so those who are in their uh, 20s they should start for 20 years 30 years investment because that will help to compound secondly those who are in their 50s or 60s can still start the investment and and continue it for longer period and see because uh, main thing is that the life expectancy is increasing in every uh, uh, every uh, 10 years the life expectancy is going to increase so you need to plan for that later stage those who are in 60s they need to plan for are their 80s how they will get the money into 80s so that is a long term goal so where you can still add some of your earning to that uh, long term goals and take the benefit of compounding because compounding is said as the eighth wonder of this world and and those who know it they can really make big wealth uh, through the compound power of compounding and we all have heard one small story in our childhood that ek gaon mein ek ek raja tha ha aur usko chess bahut pasand tha to wahan pe wo chess khelne ke liye ek rushi muni wahan pe jata hai wo raja ke sath lekin wo bolta hai mujhe chess nahi khelna hai raja ji mujhe sirf aapko ek vinanti karna hai mujhe aise hi aap kuch bhi daan de do मैं चला जाऊंगा मुझे चेस नहीं खेलना है तो राजा थोड़ा ये हो जाता है कि चेस मुझे चेस पसंद है और आपको चेस खेलना नहीं है ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है तो बोलता है ठीक है मांगो क्या मांगना है आपको तो बोलता है मुझे कुछ नहीं वो चेस का जो बोर्ड रहता है उसमें 68 एट ब्लॉक्स रहते हैं सो फर्स्ट ब्लॉक पे एक दाना रख दीजिए सेकेंड ब्लॉक पे दो दाने रख दीजिए थर्ड ब्लॉक पे चार दाने रख दीजिए ऐसे हर एक नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक पे आप डबल करते जाइए ए दानों को आ, तो वो बोलता है अरे क्या मांग मांग के क्या मांगा है तुम्हें ये एक दो दाने ए, क्या आ, ये तो मैं ऐसे ही दे दूंगा तुमको ठीक है राजा जी दे दीजिए एंड देन द किंग स्टार्ट्स देयर ही सोल्जर स्टार्ट्स पुटिंग द ग्रेन्स एंड ऑन दैट चेस बोर्ड एंड टिल दे रीच मिडिल ऑफ द चेस बोर्ड उस गांव के सभी दाने खत्म हो जाते हैं पूरे गांव साइड के गांव के दाने लाके भी वो आगे बढ़ नहीं पाते दिस इज द पावर ऑफ कंपाउंडिंग व्हेन यू ट्राई टू मल्टीप्लाई विद अ लॉन्गर पीरियड 
and your wealth growth is phenomenal so take the advantage of compounding for your long term goals lekin ye kab aayega jab aap goals identify karoge aur uske line uh, timelines identify karoge then only you can take benefit of compounding start invest investing regularly ye log kya karte hain normally nahi main ikatta karunga paise then i will invest after gathering the money uh, and they don't know ki where that uh, money goes Uh, so start investing regularly uh, mostly if you can do it monthly review periodically this is again a most important thing you have to do because many people start investing and they don't review for uh, next couple of year is now uh, now i get some uh, calls from client one of my policy has been matured taken 25 years and how much amount they are getting Is twenty five thousand and twenty thousand from that, and the last drawn salary for them um, was uh, monthly salary was sixty thousand and eighty thousand. So why this has happened? They have not re- reviewed periodically whether this is important investment or whether we need to change it, whether we need to go in some different investment avenues. Is our goal changing? And that also you need to see. So review periodically. and the most important if you are not able to do this as uh, rightly then do take a help from an expert because expert will help you who to see each and every part of this so that and uh, the chances of losses minimizes and if you do this then you, your investment planning is done and you can achieve your goals very easily so dear friends just think whenever any investment option comes first focus on your goals what are your goals is that investment matching with your goal is that going to benefit to your goal and then review it through this parameters and then start the investment and i am sure if you do this you are going to get the right amount at the right time um, to fulfill your goals so next so here the third building block was uh, to accumulate right so we are already at the third and now uh, i think the time left is 10 uh, minutes more and the fourth building block everybody wants to know so now we you have created the wealth okay but then after creating also why this person seems to be like this over wealth creation idea what can be over wealth creation oh <laughs> great if over wealth creation is there and person is like this then <laughs> that but that's I, i appreciate that point what else can make a person he don't know how to invest okay he but don't he has know seen, how to he, now the person has invested rightly okay everything was done rightly he has created wealth okay and still he, he, he doesn't know how to manage he doesn't how to, know how to manage how to retain good. how to yes. retain the tax how to retain the wealth very good taxation expenditure taxation oh, good that's from the cs mouth <laughs> expenditure sorry expenditures have also risen uh, expenditures are the reason okay uh, but we have taken that in the first uh, first place right cash flow where we have seen the income and expenses then we have taken care of our uh, uncertainties also so no need to have stress in case of uncertainty then we have done a right investment in the right way considering all the points still this is the uh, case with most of the family members this is not the investor but this is the family member of the investor and why this case happens because people don't give more attention towards while doing the wealth creation and while gathering the wealth while increasing the wealth accumulating the wealth they forget that they don't give more proper attention towards distribution of wealth and what has happened what are these figures do you think epf 26497 crore Life insurance companies twenty four thousand five eighty six crore, 
banks, 24,000 plus crores, mutual funds, 17,000 plus crores, uh, IEPF, that is dividends, unpaid dividends, 3,400 crores, and income tax refunds, 2,000 crores. My dear friends, these figures are for that unpaid amount, which is lying in, in the freezed accounts. Has anybody done that calculation for this? How much it comes? It comes to 98,000 crores are lying in the unpaid amount, unclaimed accounts, because there was no proper distribution plan in place. This is the amount which nobody has claimed or nobody could claim this amount from these companies. So what's there in gathering such wealth? So the fourth building block in this pyramid is the distribution of wealth. Why distribute the wealth rightly? Because right amount should go in the right hands for the right purpose, right? As we, we were thinking of the goals, so it should be utilized to the goals if we are not there if we are there we are going to do it but what if we are not there so you should have share share all the information with your family member at least your spouse or any family member that where you have done the investments what are your investment portfolio what are your insurance portfolio and many people does this mistake that they keep it with them and then family has to run from here and there to uh, yeah, take the in charge of that wealth which their loved ones has already created. You should have proper nomination. Many people put the nominations. Now it's compulsory to put the nomination, but uh, while putting the nomination, there is spelling mistakes or they don't review their nominations. So if the nominee has already passed away and the, their name is still on the nomination list, the others could not access that wealth. So revisit all your nominations and, and see whether they are correctly mentioned. 10 years back, there was not compulsion for the nominations. So many accounts, PPF accounts, EPF accounts, please go and check your EPF accounts and PPF accounts or your savings accounts, which are open eight to 10 years back, go and revisit them and see whether the proper nomination is there in who, whose hand you want to hand over this amount and put correct if there is some mistake in that. There are some mistakes in the name, uh, writing the spelling of the name, see that the corrections are done. Then going ahead you should prepare a will because still a nominee is not a rightful owner of your asset nominee is just a person to take that wealth in their hands but they are not the rightful owner of that asset so if you prepare a will then that amount will go to the right person in the right proportion and then the new things which are coming are the family trust. So many people uh, who have a lot of wealth can do family trust. So if they want to keep the custody of their children, the money for their children in future, they cannot rely on one person. So they can make a family trust. Take the right uh, expert opinion and from um, maybe uh, your a lawyer or CA about this. But my dear friends, make sure that, that you do all these, uh, at least three things in, uh, from this, that is give the information to the family. You can write on one paper, uh, all the information, what you have, where you have the bank accounts, what investments you have, have uh, make a file or one paper sheet and hand it over to one person in the family. Do the right proper nominations, prepare a will, and if possible, prepare a family trust so that the right amount goes in the right right hands for the right purpose. So 
if you build this wealth pyramid correctly with these building blocks i am sure you will you are going to achieve a complete stable financial success but what happens uh sorry while doing this yes then you should go to the next part that is tax saving whether at every stage you have to see okay this product is uh, if giving tax benefits it's good but tax benefit should not be the only thing because presently people just see whether it is giving tax benefit and starts their first investment but in this pyramid the tax benefit is the last part part of your building blocks so tax benefit is a additional thing uh, what you can take a in your investments or investment strategy so what happens why it's so simple right but why normally people don't build the wealth pyramid or why their wealth pyramids are not stable because we start in present times with the tax saving so what gives us tax saving see just remember everyone remember their first investment when they started earning what was there in the mind was tax savings one of the important part yeah atccc yes atccc which government has introduced many people take home loans to save the interest portion of the tax what they are saving they don't need the home but they will take a home loan to save that 2 lakh amount but they don't realize that for saving 2 lakh amount of interest they are paying 6 to 7 lakh of interest which goes in the expenses so people take tax benefit as their base and then try to build their wealth pyramid on that so you will uh, you, you will now support me in this that people normally think ki kya chhod ke jana hai inheritance first then and investments phir kahan pe karna hai and tax saving is the main motto of that investment and then people if kuch paisa bachta hai to insurance le lenge usme se and then they go to the next one ki okay abhi sab problems hone lage investment shuru kiya hai mutual uh, insurance shuru kiya hai abhi paisa bach hi nahi raha hai hath mein then they will look ki where to correct their cash flow and they build exactly opposite pyramid and if any uncertainty strike will this pyramid sustain it will it have a stable effect just give a thought on your own so my dear friends we are at the flag end so don't toss your investments and your goals in air and just keep an eye key either whether family can catch it or not or whether we can and move ahead or uh, with or not keep it utilize the keys which i have given to you and build a happy family by utilizing in, by building your right wealth pyramid and achieving a stable financial success and happiness thank you great thank you so much i'm sure uh, today's session has been so such a eye opener and it has thrown up so many questions i'm sure the audience would also want to interact with you but let me thank you first because i don't think we would have got this uh, uh, whatever value we've received of course is beyond words a very very insightful session so it not only told us the importance of wealth pyramid but how to structure our own wealth pyramids a very very valuable session so i'll just open the floor for anybody who wants to ask questions uh suraj ji can i come please lakshmi ah uh, yes yes anil sir so i want to understand from from you i sorry i got my guest little bit i missed it so about especially for senior citizens of my age those who are plus 65 something like this so what would you suggest them because they want to go for not any risky investment they want they have mostly they want to enjoy their life and they were they are consumers 
they want to you know whatever life is left with them they want to spend the money so what type of uh, so that they can play with the investment the inflation also thank you yes sir so that that's what the point was uh, when i was explaining the investment part you should have a right asset mix so see if you put only in fds normally if the senior citizens they put all the money into fds and try to get the interest but then that uh, only in conservative part it's i am not saying fds but conservative part if you put your investments into conservative only then you will not match the inflation and that investment will go down with the years and that will not help you for the later stage of life so you need to have a right mix you should have conservative plus aggressive in a right mix according to which you can take the risk so that's why we always say that products okay there are many products to for uh, investments but see that risk parameter in that so if you are comfortable ki okay to matlab mere 20 25% amount niche bhi gaya temporary to bhi chalega but i need growth then put that amount into maybe equity mutual funds or uh, depending on your risk appetite take that higher uh, interest bonds or in uh, in that category where you are uh, moderate to aggressive uh, moderate aggressive to aggressive category your 25 30% investment there is a thumb rule basically it's not equal for all because everybody's goals and uh, investment base are different it's for all huh? everybody has a different uh, goals life goals and time durations are different maybe that person may be in 60s or 50s the same person at your age sir will have a different goals in their life so take that into account and timelines into account and start your investment accordingly and the thumb rule says that your investment should be whatever your age is should be into secured and you can take the risk of the later part so if anybody's age is 60 60% should be in conservative or maybe moderately conservative and the rest 40% you can take into moderately aggressive or aggressive investments and very aggressive that are normally cryptos or startups that money should, should be invested only that money which you are ready to forgo so yes yes if you are ready to forgo say suppose uh, if any and that will dif- differ from person to person maybe one person can ready to forgo 1 lakh rupees or one person has the risk capital of 1 crore rupees so you might have seen the shark tank episode going on on the tv so they have risk higher risk capital so they are investing one crore in a, such a, a projects where nobody knows what is going to happen in future right, but right. they are ready to forgo but if it multiplies then that one crore can become 10 crores within two years so it's thank like thank you so much thank you very much thank you mr suraj hi yes we did fabulous fabulous system why you call it as pyramid because that gives something fly by night some feeling that okay good insight i will really give a thought again on this uh, what name we can it's it's because uh, uh, see it it, it uh, because the way we have structured it first thing base base should be as wide base you have the wider the higher height you can achieve hello getting I it think- yeah Yeah, yeah, you're able to, you're able to hear. Oh. I, yeah. I can hear. Okay, okay. Suraj, I think your network is just kind of uh, paused Hello? for a minute. Or, yeah, now it's better. Uh, I think okay. Uh, so, as the base we were talking, as the wider you your base is, the more height you can achieve. So, which is like a pyramid. So, as I was talking about surplus, the more you will make the space for surplus, your wealth wealth will be more in future. Correct. Okay, what happens That's is it's not about the amount, as I told you. It's about the percentage of income, what you are yeah. actually saving. And so, one for one, ten thousand will be fifty percent of his income. For another person, one lakh will be just ten percent of their income. So, the more wealth in terms of happiness will be derived by that ten thousand person who is saving ten thousand rupees because he is saving fifty percent of his income. Then Very the person right. saving one lakh as a ten percent of his income. We have time for 
another one question if anybody is uh, keen to get their queries solved from mr suraj suraj i have one question ah yes yes malchand sir uh, do do the artificial intelligence has any role to play now in calculating the returns and educating the investors uh, see uh, balchand sir definitely uh, see uh, any ai systems what they are doing they are taking the past experiences together and then logically bu uh, building the future expectations or future projections so surely everything is the future is uncertain right we don't know what is going to happen next moment also maybe there will be a blackout electricity can go here you don't know but what we are assuming that okay hey, electricity is till now there it will go on right so that is how we are assuming so similar thing is into investments nothing is certain you might have seen yesterday two days event right if anybody is attached to share market yesterday there was one news of ukraine and russia market tanked down to 1300 points okay in one day and today russia was taking back their troops only one news huh? we don't know whether they have taken or not there is no confirmation but the market has so raised 1500 points in one so uh, ai cannot work over here what ai can work or past experiences can work for a longer period that's why uh, we should always see the asset allocation is the most important thing and what their are... ais are playing a good role in the asset allocation um, side and risk tolerance side to an analyzing your risk tolerance based on the past experiences Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, I have a small thing uh, to tell that. Uh, uh, yes. Thank you. 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 व्हाट्सएप नंबर देता हूँ क्योंकि आई एम इनटू वन टू वन कंसल्टिंग ओनली सो आई एम नॉट इनटू वॉल्यूम बेस बिकॉज व्हेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग वन टू वन विद एनी क्लाइंट देन ओनली वी कैन एनालाइज द गोल्स वी कैन हैव अ राइट डायरेक्शन टुवर्ड्स अचीविंग देयर गोल तो कॉमन नॉलेज में क्या होता है आधा अधूरा नॉलेज गया तो देन इट इज मोर हार्मुल राइट सो नॉर्मली आई not the uh, open yet but maybe i will th think in later i will put my number on the chat box suraj ji you are talking about risk tolerance tool yeah how to know know about that right uh, online bhi milenge lekin ye normally hum one to one basis pe karte hain because uh, as i told you ki uh, what the tool gives result is not the actual thing because when we are taking that test risk tolerance test is there and so while taking the test we can be biased with the surrounding uh, atmosphere like now markets are giving good returns so uh, people will be biased towards returns in that but when we after risk tolerance test when we discuss one to one then we come to know ki how much risk one can take or what is the time duration on that time duration also how much risk one can take so i would suggest that uh, you can contact any of your nearby registered investment advisors or uh, the financial planners who can actually help you uh, in a greater extent to understand your risk tolerance can otherwise you, you otherwise you? online you can find it there is a test of uh, uh, depending on 10 questions to no oh, 25 questions which you have to answer and then you get the score uh, you taking the risk or not thank, thank you very much for wonderful yes. presentation thank so you sometimes it is difficult to trust sometimes it is difficult to trust the people who are giving good advice or not advice this also so one thing you, as i just told you you just Uh, check on one parameter whether that person is working on your goals or that person is just telling you about products whether that person is uh, coming and selling you only insurance policy or mutual funds or any other fd or th whether they are asking you about your what are your goals they are starting with your goals your future requirements or they are starting with the product that one thing you can 
uh, always see as a base first point to eliminate someone so okay thank Suri you sahab your your inner sense and your common sense is your best friend you just see your age and your family and then invest wherever you want thank you so much everyone and i'm sure we've all taken notes and we'll apply it immediately to our own investments and uh, however we want to build our wealth pyramids on the lighter note i have definitely taken a lot of notes otherwise i would have been stuck with just one thing that you hold your currency and keep it in your pocket and it doubles up but that doesn't happen it's very technical so thank you so much uh, arun ji would you want to uh, say a few words for today's session excellent 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 okay i think we cannot connect to him so thank you everybody yeah. for attending today's session and uh, see you tomorrow for another interesting session this time it is indrajitu sir's home gardening yes and, and so thank you so much uh, arun sir and, uh, uh, and narendra ji good evening good evening uh, yes, harun sir is, is back welcome sir welcome welcome, welcome sir <laughs> i i i am very sorry there was a sudden emergency Ah, uh, and uh, so I had to go out to attend to someone in the neighborhood. Okay, uh, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I will go through the video, Suraj Ji. I listened to that area where you are till that portion where you said, you know, if you are a spender and not a saver, it is time you scaled up to the next level. And then the moment that thing came, now the doorbell rang. Mm. <laughs> and, <laughs> And you no know, I just could not say forward, no yes. to the neighbor. Very good. There are there are there are another old couple nearby. You know, in our own uh, uh, what do you call it floor, and uh, there was some emergency there, and so I had to rush. Nah, I just happened to come back. Please don't mind, Suraj. No, 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 not at all, sir. You have done a, a great thing to help uh, the neighbor. That's the first thing we should always. Uh, <laughs> be there because so, you know because that, are they, they are also the old world. and uh, you know they could not one of them could not handle the situation i, I don't no, want no, to no be problem. very elaborate about it <laughs> no problem like, sir uh, yeah uh, but uh, uh, but looking forward for your uh, feedback sir. i will, i will definitely go through the video tonight and i will call you first thing tomorrow morning yes Sure, sir. Thank But you. But what Thank I you saw so till then, you know, what the, the, about that the dots connecting the dots and how uh, you know the various points. These nine dots represent nine aspects, and then you know your explanation of the spender, what you earn minus your expenses, you save. You are a spender. What you earn minus your saving, you spend. You are a saver, and you know that that was you know yes, there is you know there is a lot of takeaway, and I think it will be a very very interesting program. I will definitely watch it. Huh? I'll yes, thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arun sir. I would like to express my gratitude to Arun sir who has opened this uh, DMT platform and master uh, 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 master share uh, the uh, the ma master trainer uh, um, online platform for um, expressing ourselves else here. Uh, there are a lot of takeaways from each and every uh, session. and and i'm sure i my, uh, might have given justice to uh, this and thank you lakshmi ma'am for such a nice uh, introduction balchandra sir for taking a follow up for everything from uh, introduction photo and uh, everything thanks a lot uh, to you nitika uh, ma'am and all my teammates for uh, having uh, the practice session and which really helped uh, a lot there are still things to uh, develop more or uh, but uh, the changes what have happened is because of the team and then suma ma'am and uh, atul sir the new uh, uh, practice sessions which are happening they are also uh, really adding lot of value so in that and thanks to all the audience uh, over here for being there and that's why i could uh, deliver my a bit of knowledge which i have Thank you so much. Good night. I will everybody. say only one thing. You see, DMT will be a success the day all of you have polished your hand to such an extent that you know there should be a gate gate crashing, 
And that day is not very far away because from whatever I have seen in the program that you all given, it's just the beginning. You know, as they say, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. It is only the... But, you know, they also say once you put the right foot forward, the left has to follow. Right. So I'm sure we will, you know, as we move forward and you, we are all together in it as long as we are all alive. And DMT, right. every course is going to see all of you and you are going to, you know, better and better yourself. And the journey of transforming others has just begun. And you are going to transform the world. Have faith. Yes, sir. Intention drives energy. Yes, sir. Surely under your guidance, that is going to happen. <laughs> I'm sure about it. Thank you so much. Together we are guidance. going to excel, sir. The right eye is, you know, you can see only with the right eye, you can see only with the left. But when you see with both the right and left together, the depth of the scene is understood better. We will do it together. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you, Suraji. Thank you so much. And tomorrow is going to be Indraji Tuji's day, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We all await uh, that day. And I will uh, call you tomorrow morning. What time would be convenient, Suraji? Um, uh, I'll see the video tonight. Yes. I'll see the video tonight and I would definitely like some quality one-on-one -on -one time with you to understand how to save some money. <laughs> yes, surely. Uh, money uh, is a grateful. money is a very you know interesting topic for everybody. <laughs> right, <laughs> but people don't take more interest in uh, managing it. It's an interesting topic, yeah. but people don't take interest in managing it. That's you a, see the secret, Suraji. I will tell you is those who have a lot of it don't need to manage it. They think, and those who have very little, they feel they don't have anything to manage. The truth is only okay. these two need to manage it properly. Actually, <laughs> absolutely right. Sir. You see, mostly, mostly service class people and retired, they do, you know, focus on managing. They want to learn also. They want to do also. Serious. <laughs> yes. 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 Now the trend is really changing, and uh, people are seriously thinking about this because this is a very precious uh, resource. And very limited resource. And, and we have seen from today's uh, breakout rooms that people are really coming up with the uh, good examples and uh, discussing in the breakout room. I was going through all the breakout rooms throughout and just uh, seeing uh, the way ideas were coming up. Um, that was very encouraging to see it. Thank well, you. You all. can start a special consultancy service for DMT group. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you know, I'm not joking. I'm not at all joking. You know, it You're is right, not a pro bono right. service I'm talking about, but a discounted service you can always start. You know, because you, you can help a lot of uh, senior citizens are there, and a lot of youngsters are there who need to manage their, uh, you know, finances, and a lot of middle-aged people are there. Yes, sir, no. sure, surely. Uh, <laughs> The, the question of trust will also come. Yeah, you know, we, we trust you. So there is no problem about that. No also. problem. We are not giving ourselves in the hands of someone we don't know. Why are Vijay sir saying or wrong? Sir, small correction. I think we can seriously think about it. Yes. Nagi sir is all smiles because he's got tons and tons of it. He requires no, someone to help no, him. No, no, small. <laughs> yes, sir. It is, not uh, you. <laughs> it is not uh, for the group a discounted service. No, we don't want discounted service. A discounted tariff, rather. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You see, <laughs> language. Yeah, discounted yes. tariff, not service. Accelerated service, enhanced service with discounted tariff. Yes, yes, yes. surely. <laughs> so you said all nice. Nagi, great sir, guy to be the great place to be in now. <laughs> yes, Suraj. Yes. Suraj, yes. saying something. Uh, yes, sir. You just said Nagi, and then that's it. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, Nagi, sir. Nag Nagi, sir has that. Uh, he's a good listener. What I have found from all the sessions, uh, because he picks up that uh, gap in between the language uh, points. Now, always uh, I have seen that quality in him. That's a uh, great quality, sir. Good to see that. Yeah, the two get born, associated with all the stalwarts. That is, is born talent. Born talent. He is a superman. Superman. 
Warrior. Yes. Yes. But handling so many students, that's a great uh, thing because I have seen a lot of uh, programs, what you post. So rural students changing their life because that is a great asset to our nation, uh, rural students. And he's focusing Actually, on them. He's saying that uh, maybe, maybe they are 30% of a population, but they're 100% of future. Yes. There is a lot of talent over there because we are also doing some work in rural areas around Pune. Uh, uh, for uh, teaching students uh, life skills. Else we'll connect uh, this on <laughs> another time. But uh, we are seeing that uh, there is a lot of talent uh, in these students, which needs that uh, uh, to somebody to give that shape to that talent and support system to get it reached. I, I'm, I'm trying to work on uh, something for the age group of 0 to 10 where you know we can bring in incidental learning how to improve critical analysis creative thinking incidental and implicit learning how to uh, you know stimulate their mind based upon the cognitive science i have been trying to you know i have uh, discussed it with lakshmi with nisreen with sujata balaji ma'am with nagi sir i have discussed it I also discussed it with Dr. Aruna Vatkar and uh, Dr. Ashu Kalra, and I'm planning a meeting. Once I have created the foundation of it, I'm working on a document, a preliminary document, so that you know I can put it in front of them to see how we can take it forward. Because that is a call of the day. Right. Let's see. Let's see. Great, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, can we call it a day? Because we have a revision session starting very in a few minutes. <laughs> yes, yes. I wouldn't started. want to hold you all back. Anyway, you are the host. You have to call it a day. Yes. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you in Mr. Indrajitu's garden tomorrow and with Mr. Naik's impact statement. Bye-bye. Naik, sir, is going to give impact statement. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Bye-bye.